Hello and welcome to this first video blog in which I'll be demonstrating a very simple method of sound creation. This is for the new EP which will be less diverse, uh, more cohesive than the previous album. Uh, one of the ways that this will be happening is through the use of certain sounds and the way they're created like I'm going to show you today. Uh, the way that the sounds are created is through sound loops. This is not a particularly new method. People such as Stockhausen have been using it since at least the 50s. But uh, back then they would use very long tape loops and uh, they would speed up by hundreds or even thousands of times to create brand new textures. We're not going to be doing that. It's very similar, but we'll be using very short sound samples and speeding them up by only about four or five octaves above their original pitch. I've already got a sound loaded into Renoise here. Uh, Renoise is actually used for all of the Akinar music. And we'll just have a little listen to it right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty awful. It's actually a small section of a vocal sample from the previous album. I'll have a look at it in the sample editor. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll add a small forward loop. Yeah. 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 And we'll begin putting up the octaves. So it sounds quite different now that's sped up, but it's not quite useful yet. What we have here at the bottom is something called a lo-fi mat. You might otherwise know this as a bit cruncher. What this does is degrades the sound, makes it sound a bit more old school, uh, lo-fi, as the name might suggest. We'll just turn that on and you will hear a very marked difference in the sound now. It actually interferes with the loops in very interesting and unpredictable ways. This is actually a, a scale I'll be playing. And as you can tell, the pitches and often the textures of notes next to each other bear almost no resemblance to each other. And I'll play another scale, uh, an octave up. And many of those are kind of noisy, indistinct, not only really useful for music, but there are a few good ones in there. So you can pick those out, uh, use them to create riffs from it, and of course you can use different loops, different sound samples, and uh, all of them create absolutely different sounds, and it's unpredictable in the way that it works. Here's another sound I have loaded in, and I'll play a scale from this, and as you can tell, it's quite different. So the sounds that this produces is very industrial sounding, great for that harsher kind of music, but uh, almost useless for specific pitches, so anything melodic you want, this will probably be of absolutely no use. Although uh, combining two different sounds together, created through this method, in a sort of textural harmony does produce some excellent results. So really, now it's just up to us to combine everything together and make some excellent, interesting music from it.